I am a go-getter. Like, I am, I am my dad's child. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Maya, and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. You guys, today, as you've read by the title, I'm back with another video, and I just wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about taking control of your life, okay? So, I know there's times where, um, as adults, or as young adults, or however old you are watching this, um, we come to a crossing the road where we have to figure out what's best for us, what's good for us in our own best interest, God, interest. And I've been determining, like, I mean, I've been thinking about a lot of things lately. And I've been coming up with, like, you, I have to do what's best for me. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that a lot of the times, like, when it comes down to other people, like, you can't just, you know, you can't just always be there for people. You can't. When you have to be there for yourself. Because not only do you have to be there for yourself, like, physically but you have to be there for yourself mentally emotionally socially like everything you have to make sure yourself you have to make sure you are good first you know and i just wanted to come and encourage my brother and my sister out there my guys and lullabies to you know keep your put yourself first you know put god first and then make sure that you put all of your things that you need to do and that you're supposed to do in order line them up the way that you need to do them and a lot of more good things should come out of this. Now, like me, me personally, there are times where I'm just sitting there like thinking like what else I could do, how else I could like try to make some money, how else I can try to make some money so that I can get my kids some stuff for school, try to make some money so or even try to make money so I could put gas in my car to last me throughout the week. Um, there's always different things that's going on in my mind and honestly we all have our different problems and our different things going on but I encourage you guys to try to start writing it down and just cross the things off of your list as you go like literally cross them off like my notebook is at home I left it at home today including my bible that I was going to read but um I know for sure that I got some stuff in there that I've been I've checked off Early this morning, I checked it off because I know that that's something I'm going to do today. You know what I mean? So, I'm just trying my best to, like, get in a comfortable position where I don't have to worry about so much. You know what I mean? Because these days, like, I have to break my money up to do what's best for me. Do what's best for me and these girls. I have to break my money up in a way where... A lot of times I don't have a lot of money to spare at the end of the week or I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times I've been finding myself going through the stage where it's just like eat less, you know, like go to sleep early so we can hurry up and get to tomorrow to tomorrow because eventually one of these days come by, I'll get, you know, I'll get my paycheck. But it's like until that day comes, you know, I'm going to sleep early, um... I'm waking up early. I'm getting the kids to where they have to go super early. And just trying to start off early because you can get a lot of things done in the early morning hours. You can. Um, and so I'm just trying to fit a lot of stuff into my routine, my daily routine. And I don't and my routines is kind of like not all put together like I am, like, I mean, I have a routine, we have a routine as far as just waking up at 6.30 in the morning, getting the girls to daycare before, well, around, like, leaving the house around 7.30 just to get them to daycare, and routines are about to start changing because school is coming back. I think my girls start school, like, August the 26th, 25th, or, I don't know, one of those days, they start school real soon, so, um... I'm just excited about what's to come, but I know that I need some more discipline. You know what I'm saying? I need more discipline with what I'm eating. I need more discipline with um, how I'm spending my money. Like, I need more discipline, and I need to be writing these things down. And, y'all, 
how I'm going to spend it. And I have to write things down how I need to do it because when I when I start doing things, I sh I'm not thinking about what I wrote down. You know what I'm saying? So I know the things that I really have to do first and um First and foremost, I have to do what I have to do first, and then I could do what I want to do. But y'all, I have this. I have some things come up. My mom's birthday party is coming up, and I have to get an outfit for that. Um, I have to make sure the girls got their outfits and stuff. Everything is together with that. Um, yeah, y'all, it's it's a lot. I mean, not just the birthday party, but even after the birthday party, like. I also found a new job, y'all. I have I found a new job, so I'm gonna be starting another job um soon and very soon. So y'all, I'm just trying to stay in pocket because you know things and people can kind of like take you out of pocket. They can take your mind focus and shift it somewhere else where it don't need to be. So that's why I pray and I pray and I thank God for being my man. When my man could, my my partner couldn't, you know, fulfill me as much as God could. You know, I prayed so good last night, y'all. But that's another story. Like I said, y'all, I think that we just got we got to get on board. Like to all of my guys and lullabies out there who supports me, I want y'all to comment down below and like share some tips to other to the other um people to the other subscribers. Share some tips. On how to um, basically like stay ahead of the game. How to stay ahead of the game um, when it comes down to adulting, parents, parenthood. Like, you know, y'all can probably give me some advice and tips too because I need tips too. I need tips on how to, you know, make parenting easier or how to just have a smooth day and you don't have to worry about so much or you don't have to worry about um you know just the little things that matter like how to be able to get it all done and tackle everything you know I need help honestly I need help I'm reaching out to y'all because I'm talking about this situation because I need some advice too you know, because sometimes all the ideas and stuff that I have don't always work. Now, most of the time, I try to do what I can do. You know, I am where I am today. So, I'm, I am at least can say I've done something, you know. But a lot of times, we all need help. We all need help. So, I want y'all to comment down below some different ways that you could actually sustain as an adult. And, you know, keep money in your pocket. Besides just saving tips, like, you know, how can you really go full throttle and be on beast mode with no distractions with no you know limits and just try to make the best out of everything and a lot of the times getting a nine to five job will steer you in a direction where it's like okay all i do is work i don't really have time to like have an actual set schedule and this and that this and that but that's not true because when i worked my last job my schedule was so on point every day uh, especially when I was eager and I was ready to get what I needed to get. I was there early and, you know, making sure I stayed till it was time for me to leave. Like, just little stuff like that. So, I just want y'all to comment some tips for the next person to um, see. And, yeah, guys, we're just going to be on our hustle bustle. And if you're like me, we're going to wake up every day early. And me, I, me personally, I'm going to be juicing in the mornings. And, y'all... Like I said, if y'all haven't checked out those videos, make sure you check out those juicing videos, guys. Um, because I'm on this journey. And honestly, I didn't see a lot of people who said that they would do it with me or anything. Which is fine. So, I'm going to go by myself. Yeah. I'm going to just go by myself. I'm going to do this by myself because I really need it done for me. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, that's what a lot of times people just get mixed up. Like... I just want to do it for me. A lot of times I get mixed up and I, you know, think that somebody else should do it with me or I think because I'm doing it, it's somebody else's, you know, somebody else want to do it or, you know, stuff like that. But no, if I go, I go by myself. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this for myself. 
I'm doing this to, you know, better my health. I'm doing this to have a out to get an outcome that I appreciate and I love. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna come. It's not gonna be easy. You know what I mean? And I'm just trying to do the the easy way out. Just actually getting the juice in my body. Like just actually getting the nutrients that I need. Like just trying to do it the easy way out because. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and make promises and stuff that I can't keep. So, you know, that's just being real. I don't wanna make promises I can't keep. So yeah, like I just encourage you all to, you know, read some of the comments. Hopefully you guys drop some good comments down below. Um and yeah, we're gonna start by trying to better ourselves. We're gonna start trying to if you're like me, y'all, I'm somebody who's like, I'm a go getter. You know what I'm saying? I am a go getter, like I am I am my dad's child. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but I'm my dad's child. And my dad, he's, like, older. Like, he's up there in age. Like, he had me, like, at an older age. You know what I mean? But I am his child because he always taught me to work, 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 work. He always taught me that a little girl don't need to go without having no dollars in her pocket. And, you know, he used to always slip me dollars. You know, when I was a kid growing up, five, you know, he would slip me $2 when I was in the fifth grade. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that my purse wasn't empty or just little stuff like that that led me to today. Um, knowing that, you know, it's hard out here. It's hard out here, especially when you don't have no help. It is hard out here, y'all. And by all means, the people who's actually doing this alone, like just, a mother and a, and three kids alone kudos to you baby because you doing this you're doing it because i need help i need help I, I don't do that all by myself you know what i'm saying i don't take care and raise them girls all by myself no i don't i mean because thank god i am who i am to actually get a little help you know and thank god because i pray for the help now don't get it wrong i pray for the help i pray because you know, and then you, that's another thing. You don't want to run your help away or, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to, you know, so it's got, like, you got to just put God first for anything and then just make sure that your mind and your mental is straight before you try to, you know, go out and venture onto other people. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody don't have their mind straight. Everybody is not on the same path as you. Everybody not trying to do what you're trying to do. Um... Everybody don't have the, you know, like I said, they don't have the same mindset. They're not on the same thing as you are. They're probably trying to do something different because it might be a different point in their life that they need to do what they need to do. So, right now, in my point, guys, to my point in my life right now, I am a go-getter. Like, I am a go-getter. I'm ready and I'm eager. I'm ready to um, start putting out some more content for y'all because y'all... We trying to grow up over here. We trying to go up, and I'm gonna have a YouTube platform. Um, I don't have a Facebook, but I'm definitely gonna have to get a Facebook as well, just because I need to um, like be able to promote myself over there. And I know you probably, I know some of you probably have a, have a Facebook now. So if y'all have a Facebook, comment that down below and let me know that you have a Facebook because I'll go over there and add you as a friend on Facebook whenever I create my account. Which I do have an account already, but it's not, um, I don't have it like Maya's Life TV. I just have it as something else. But it's a it's a fairly new page, though. So, um, I will add you guys. If you guys um, have a Facebook, comment your Facebook. Or, or I'll leave the link so you can add me if you don't want to put your name on there. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to get a Facebook. And I'm going to try to just drop videos over there, too. And guys, I got TikTok, so make sure y'all add me on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok, and my link is in the description box as well. I have a Snapchat. The link will be in the description box as well. I am ready, y'all. Like, I'm just putting all fear behind me, period. I'm putting all fear behind me. I know it's time for kids and stuff to go back to school, and I know it's going to be a busy, it's going to it probably be like busy weeks and stuff like that for, for parents and stuff. But if y'all are not doing anything, y'all make sure y'all just click on my video. Just watch my video and, you know, just leave some love up there for me because, you know, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to grow. So, that's that, y'all. But I'm really trying to get on this on the ball game of putting out my content. And I'm just going to just be creating content almost like every day. This is hard 
work to do when you really have to pay pay attention to your kids and then on top of that you have to go to work you have to make sure everybody fed you have to make sure you're gonna have gas money you have to make sure your car and stuff is taken care of. you have to really actually attend to real life you know what i mean so that's why i take maybe like two hours out of the day if it's early in the morning or if it's late at night just take the two hours out of the day and put it into my craft and stuff like that and then be actual human for the rest of those hours so that I can do what I need to do and I'm supposed to do so that I can actually give y'all good content and I can be on top of my game. You know what I mean? So, I said all that. Y'all know I'm going on a rant right now, but I said all to that. I said all of that just to say, like, I appreciate every one of you all who watches and supports me. And if you're watching and you're supporting right now, make sure you share this video because other people want to see other people probably don't know and they want to see you know maybe they want to see so make sure you share this video on your platform you can share it on facebook you can share it on youtube you can share it on instagram wherever you want to share my videos or if you have a favorite video that you've seen and you think somebody else is interested in y'all share my content y'all y'all my day one so share my content and make sure y'all turn y'all post notifications on so y'all can know when I upload the video or when I'm dropping it. And maybe you can at least see when I dropped it and then maybe go back to it or, you know, something of that sort. Um, yeah, like stay locked in, y'all, because we're making, a tr we're making a transition over here. And one day when I am fully capable of doing so i want to i want to have a real cash app giveaway like i don't want just one i want a lot of winners you know what i'm saying i don't i want to be somebody who's can give back you know what i'm saying because y'all have gave so much y'all have poured so much into me like y'all have poured so much into me for the last two uh the, for the last year of my life i haven't really gotten as much support from anybody you know what I'm saying? As, especially like the encouraging words. And that's kind of another reason why I like doing this so much. Because it's also my motivation to like keep going, to keep striving, um, to keep doing what I got to do so that I won't just fall off. And especially fall off and being a parent, fall off as being, you know, fall off and get depression or anxiety or, you know what I'm saying? All those different things. No, 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 not right now in my life. I'm too young for that. I'm trying to uh, punch fear in the face. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to just go and just do my thing. You know what I mean? So, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, um, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can know. Oh, hit that subscribe button and the post notification um, so you can know when I post a video. And until next time, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. I'll holla.